Hi, it's Debbie Williams here. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And another way to overcome urges to eat is to have a plan to distract yourself. So if you know that you're going to have these urges and you've got something in place that, well, before I act on this urge, the first thing I'm going to do is, whether it's, um, I advise my clients to put on a hypnosis CD because I know that by the time they've listened to this hypnosis CD, which is going to say, breathe in, let go, etc., etc., they'll ride over the urges, which really only last a few minutes. So whether you do that, I have actually got some videos online, um, mini trances that you could plan that in as part of your schedule, and they're absolutely free. Or if you have a list of things that you could do that would be useful to slot in to distract yourself from taking the action of following through on those urges. One way to do this is to start a list and I like to call it to begin with a bored list. You know all those things that you do if you were bored, if you had the time, i.e. phone that friend in Australia, um, oh, tidy that cupboard out, um, you know anything like that. And if you start the list and if you put it somewhere prominent then Every time you walk past it, especially if, say, if it's in the kitchen, you think, oh, what else could I add to that list? And before long, you'll have quite a long list there so that you train yourself. If you have an urge, then, oh, I'll, before I do it, I'll just go and have a look on my list. And you scan down the list and you think, well, mm, I don't fancy doing that. Mm, don't fancy doing that. Yeah, actually, I will do that. And I'll, I'll make myself do that for the next five minutes because, you know, if I get into that for five minutes, then maybe this damn urge will go and it will and so you're using your mind working for you rather than against you. Now I hope this has been useful and great talking to you today. Bye now.